This isn't a walk many people will ever have to make in their lives. A little nervous, but excited. But for these young people, they don't feel like they have a choice. This is just one more way that youth are standing up and taking action. They've come from across Ontario to face down a government. And individually, they're as different as they come. An entrepreneur, an artist, some are activists, some just kids. It's my future. It's the, the future of children. And it's unfair that some governments aren't doing enough to take action on this. We first caught up with them just a day earlier. This is the only planet we have, and it's the only known life in the universe. And we keep continuing to harm all that life. And it just makes, I, I just don't understand why we do it. So here's the issue. Ontario's target is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 30% below 2005 levels by 2030. That is in line with the federal target. We are fighting for our lives and for generations yet to be born. But these young people call that inadequate, even unconstitutional, because of Section 7 of Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms, the right to life, liberty and security of the person. Don't take climate change seriously enough, they say, our charter rights get breached. I'm suing Doug Ford today because we have a responsibility to uphold and we have a responsibility to our environment and all of our relations. What we're seeing is Ontario is going backwards instead of going forwards, and our clients are going to court to get the province back on track. This is Fraser Thompson. He works with EcoJustice. That's the environmental law charity pushing this case forward. I can't think of another case where we have reams, thousands of pages of documents, of documents that are not only endorsed by the best scientists in the world, but also by the very governments that are failing to act on climate change. Shame on the Canadian government. It's part of a Today growing trend to try and combat climate change in the courts. There's a lawsuit against Trudeau's government, one in the U.S. filed on behalf of 21 youth. The best science says that we have 11 years at most to act before it's too late. One of the challenges in this particular case, proving that the environmental damage to come will be so severe, that would violate our charter rights. But isn't that speculative in a way? You're, look, you're casting into the future here. It's, it's speculative in the sense that it's based on one of the most scientific and rigorous processes that's ever been undertaken on climate change. Adults and politicians are supposed to be our superheroes, but clearly in this issue they're not being superheroes. They're they're not, they're not doing enough to protect our future. I want to remind some people that our economy relies on our ecosystem. Shailen Wabgijig is Algonquin and a member of the Caribou Clan. What if you lose? I really hope that doesn't happen because I want that precedent to be set that people, especially young people's voices, will be heard. <laughs>